Hi everyone, welcome to Mondays. I'm Rachel and you're watching Real Tubes. So this week's topic is my favorite recipes. And honestly, I'm not much of a cook. I like to bake though. And I would bake something for you, but I live in a dorm. And I could use one of the couple of kitchens we have in this building. But then I would have to buy all the ingredients that I need and I wouldn't know what to do with the extra ingredients. And... It would just be a huge ass mess, so I'm not going to do it. I apologize. Plus, I have no money to buy ingredients anyway, so it's not really feasible. So, um, I like baking cookies. I like baking brownies. Just, I love desserts like banana bread, pumpkin bread. Um, like I said, I'm not much of a cook. I just like to bake. Um, so I get to do that sometimes when I'm at home. And I'm going home for spring break next week, so maybe I'll make it up to you and uh, bake something while I'm at home and record it and just put it, a little clip of that at the end of my next video or the one after that. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll give you the recipe for one of my favorites, which is fruit salsa and cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. And this is a Pampered Chef recipe that my mom used to make all the time. She was like all into Pampered Chef when I was younger and she like bought all the kitchen supplies and really liked this recipe and I made it for like work friends and um, some, some of my friends and they really like it. So um, maybe I can walk you through it and put some text along the bottom or something and I'm not really an expert at iMovie. But anyway, here's what you'll do if you want to make this delicious fruit salsa. <laughs> you'll take three Granny Smith apples and peel them and chop them however finely you want. I like to use this Pamper Chef chopper that we have that my mom bought a hell of a long time ago. Um, so it chops them. You can chop them as finely as you want. I like to chop them really finely so it's more of like a, a juice salsa instead of a chunky salsa. So take your three grains of apples, peel them, chop them. Then you want to take two kiwis and cut them in half, spoon out the kiwi and chop those as well and then take I don't know how many strawberries like a, a pound maybe, maybe less, just whatever you feel like is good. I'm like I've done I made this recipe so many times I don't have it written down I just know it by heart um but I'll, I'll put it in the sidebar with you know with as many measurements as I can so maybe that'll help anyway so those are your three fruits then you're gonna take one tablespoon of brown sugar two tablespoons of white sugar um, one tablespoon of I use apple jelly I guess you could use any jelly and a teaspoon or two of lemon juice so that's your salsa right there and then for the chips you're gonna want to take uh, tortillas and sprinkle them with water just like make sure your hands are clean put some water on your, in your hand and just spread it over the tortilla or if you want to use like a, a brush or something like that or like a spoon so, um, then take cinnamon sugar, you know, mix it together, and then sprinkle it on top of the tortilla, cut it in slices, and then put that in the oven at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, again, I'm not an expert on this recipe, so, yeah. So, um, once those are done, you just dip the chips in the salsa, it's really yummy, so I really recommend this recipe. It's delicious and yeah, that's my recipe. That's my lesson for today. Um, the downside about being Monday is that I, I don't know if I'm supposed to do like one recipe or a lot of recipes or I don't know. But this is my take on my favorite recipes and I hope you, you girls try it out, girls and guys try it out and it's really delicious and it's not it's not very unhealthy because it's like the ingredients are pretty healthy. I mean, cinnamon sugar is not really healthy, but whatever. 
Um, so yeah, try it out. And have a good day and have a good week. I'm looking forward to other recipes for the week. And see you next Monday.